What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, LSU254. Right Let's see what we got going on with the Cubs. Time to change up them springs. What's going on, y'all? Make sure y'all hit that button like comment subscribe share the video etc etc uh doing a little bit of suspension work on our cutlass as y'all seen in past videos as you can also see here on the tires got a little bit of a rubbing issue partially due to backspacing from the wheel but also due to a wide tire so if we go with a skinnier tire 240s, uh, 245, 40, or 245, 30, 22s instead of uh, these 265, and we should be able to clear. However, uh, we may be able to do something in the meantime. These tires, these tires, you know, give us a couple good burnouts, you know, make some content. Etc. Etc. My boy D Brooks called me out. Y'all seen that video? He did a little burnout challenge call out, and number two on the list was yours truly. And let's ship around a two five four. So you know I can't. In the current condition, I can't do it. You know we've already done burnout in C ten. Did it in the box. It's the only one that ain't got the smoke yet. So uh, we can hike it up some. And we make them safely when I turn our car up and the side of the car up. Uh, I might be able to get this off because the current uh, rear suspension setup. Let me show y'all. Get up under here. So if you look here, you can see it says Delco. You see it says Delco Premium, AKA Original Equipment. You know what I mean? So, uh, with this being the originals, then that would explain uh, a lot. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I'm not gonna, I guess, I'm not gonna walk you through the whole thing. I'm just gonna tell you that, you know, it's one bolt right here. One bolt right here. Uh, there's two bolts up there. Then pretty much this will come loose. Make sure you have your axle supported by a second jack. Make sure your car is supported on jack stands. Uh, same way we did it on the box, so. And then while we're back here, we'll go ahead and reroute this line to the pump. Uh, I don't know which way it's gonna go, but we'll figure it out. Somebody keeps telling me in my video, like, bro, please put the wire up. So, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it for the culture. <laughs> I'm gonna do it for the culture. All right, man, let me uh, get on this, man. I'll catch y'all back on. So as you can see, old busted Delco. I think it's, I think it's safe to say it's gone. Like I said, I mean, it happens after 35, 36, 34 to 36 years of being a shock. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, we're gonna replace it. Earth shocks here. And I'll put some springs up under that thing. You know what I'm so they can sit up how they need to. Uh, a lot of people go QA1 stuff, man. I don't I don't disbelieve that 
they're good set up. I mean, for what I'm doing, I honestly just think it's over here. But, you know, that's my opinion. You know, everybody's opinion. Everybody's entitled to theirs. But being that I'm not going to do that set up, I figure I'll just go ahead and redo the whole back in with the new. Uh, the air shock is something that we didn't try to go the last one on uh, the box. So we just want to go new springs, new shocks. See if we can get this set up. Last time I did two separate videos, I learned my lesson. I was like, now nah, if we do that rear, when we gonna burn that shit down one time. Do springs one, one shot, springs in shock. So I want video. So it's yes, her. So just like last time. On the box, you know, we compared the springs as we we'll sit at the top. We got one, two, three, four. And this one is a different one, two, three, four, five, six. You can even say seven at the bottom. So, variable rate springs from Moog. These should definitely make an improvement, have it sitting different as well. Uh, the biggest benefit is the air shots so we're going to be able to put it wherever we want to on that note so let me get it together man cut it back on alright so we got both both springs off both of them bum ass shocks off both of them was over there New suspension gang. Our socks in the back. Back of that thing. So now we pretty much gotta run the uh, hose. Air hose. Yeah. Run the air hose here. Uh, comes with some instructions, but I, mean, I think it's pretty self explanatory. But for the purpose of the video, we'll look at this direction. So each one has a uh, each one has inlets. Gonna run those two inlets to here and then out to where the fuel point is. There's little O-rings and shit and whatever. This is a single fuel kit. They do sell a, a dual one. Uh, when you buy it, it comes with a single field kit. Uh, the dual field kit is actually part number AK24. Only reason I know, <laughs> only reason I know that is because I know this from when we was dealing with the Ridley. So, uh, so yeah, let me get these cut. This thing back on the ground. See what difference it made. What if it sat up like that? That's a big old gap. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so we got the cutlass back on the ground. Man, look at this shit here. Y'all know how I was sitting before. Bruh. Look at the clear rinse. Look at the clear rants. That's crazy. The thing like aired all the way up too. Where I can fit. Before you can barely get a hand in that bit. Now I can play patty cake on top of this hole. That bit. <laughs> Everything's gonna rub not shit. Another damn thing. So I think we can keep. I mean, of course, if it was going any lower than that, then yeah, it would come back and we'll start rubbing again. But baby, that new suspension. Yes, sir. Uh, we'll probably still go with 245 just so I can. If I want to, you know what I'm saying? If I want to lower that thing, I'm going to let some air out of the shocks. Had that thing sitting down low. Oh, look at this side, same shit. Patty cake. Patty cake, bitch. 
Yeah, so it's sitting kind of crazy right now, but like I said, this is <laughs> temporary. Uh, I mean, I need a new springs and shocks anyway, as you can see. The old busted, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's how that thing needs to sit up. Patty cake, patty cake, we want all the smoke. Patty cake, patty cake. Yeah. <laughs> patty cake, patty cake. We want all the smoke. Patty cake, patty cake. They think it's a joke. Yes, sir. <laughs> Everybody like, man, you gotta, you gotta cut your car up for it to sit right. Fake news. Like I said, I mean, it is, I think when I do get the 245s on these back ones, I'm gonna see what the 245 looks like on the front. But for now, on 235s, it's gonna be what it is. But yeah, but yeah, that thing ain't gonna be rubbing no more, bitch. And that doesn't know me no I ain't got no little ass hand, but I got them whoop. Patty cake, patty cake. Yeah, you couldn't even see the top of the top before the video, so. Yes, sir. Well, last one, not this video, but. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But yeah, that bitch sitting up pretty. On all the smoke. See, that's how that bitch shake now. Worst case scenario, nigga. Maximum bounce, nigga. I ain't touching shit. More bounce to the ounce. <laughs> Alright, man. I'm cut it off. I'm gone, man. It's your boy, LSJ Rock254. Remember, identify your weaknesses, make it your strength. Life is all about choice to choose while the end. Productivity or procrastination. And remember, we want all the smoke. Nah, but shit. <laughs> Life is all about choice to choose wisely in productivity or procrastination. And remember that the hustle don't stop, the grind don't stop. I'm gone.